Julian here has given me something absolutely incredible. Look at that color. Dear Lord. Welcome to the channel everybody. It's very warm, but we're going to carry on as per usual. I'll have an announcement at the end of the at the end of the video, which is quite exciting for me at least. So this is the piece we're going to work on. It's a nice little tube. It's got the hollow end up there. This is the end showing a lot of the color. If I give it a quick dunk in some water, it won't make it that much better, but if we zoom in, there you go. Have a look at that. So reds, blues, greens, mainly red. So it could be an amazing piece. We've got a little bit of dirt on the outside there. It actually comes off with my finger pretty well. Got a little bit of dirt trapped inside there. I don't know if I'll hollow it out. We'll tidy up the edge and see whether I like it to be plugged like that or not. We could empty it out. There is this gouge along the side, which will most likely be there because I don't want to cut this too much. Gouge along the side here. All in all, we're just going to give it a scrub, see if we can get through this brown skin and find this underneath it, and then give it a polish. So because we're not taking off a lot, if I refer to my sintered bits, we're just going to stick with the weakest. I've actually got one already loaded, but that's a pointy one, so I'll switch over to this one. So that's about 350, 400 grit, somewhere around there. And then, you guys know the deal already if you've watched the channel a few times. Black Nova, Brown Nova, Grey Nova, Pink Nova. Well, Rose Nova. So, we'll go through the full range, starting with the black. 280, 600, 1200, 3000. And, if it's looking good after that, we'll hit it with the cerium oxide. So, I'm pretty excited for this one. This is, this is nice. And this is from Julian Stavrius recently. And he knows I'm just obsessed with fossils and I love it when the fossil is opalized and this one's got color so I couldn't ask for any more we're just gonna have to be mindful of those scores down the sides but that's all right just adds a bit of character doesn't it might be able to clean out the sand a little bit who knows only one way to find out let's do it
Alright, we've had some fun. It's cleaned up incredibly well. Now what I've done here, if you can see, is I've got a light, a little lamp, and I typically do this on most of my opal if I think I want to really get a nice finish on it. And what I'm doing is holding it behind and using this little texture, just marking a few spots that I think I can do a little bit better. So we keep going around, you can see it right up this end, there's a little bit of a line here that I reckon I can get rid of. Now here's that section on the back that I did a lot of work on where that line goes right down the guts. You know what, I reckon there's a good chance I can get rid of some of this. You can see here that I've still got to do the edge. I've neglected that, I won't bother marking it, I know I've still got to do it. See there's that line, it's nearly worked its way out. So I reckon with a tiny bit more we're going to get rid of that as well. And then there's a couple spots. Whoops. There we go, there's a little bit more. It's funny, a precious opal under the light gets this weird like, see how you can kind of still see the colour but it's this weird translucent looking thing. We've got a couple more speckles around the place over here. A little bit of work I want to do here. You don't need to be accurate with the texture, don't worry about it. Textures are cheap. And then all of this area here, I reckon all of that will disappear after I use the Novas. That's just a bit of roughage. And it's pretty funny. So that sand that you can see right at the end there, if we turn it away and look at it like this, you can see that the sand actually only goes a certain way through. And it's only, I don't know, like that much. So if we wanted to square off this end, we could actually get rid of the sand, but I don't want to change it too much. We've already got the crust off, us, off it. There was a small chip that I knew was there, so just up here, so it's all shiny there. I want to be able to even out the surface. I don't want to change it too much, I just want to even it out enough to be able to get rid of that. But yeah, so that's what I do. I go around, I do a couple little spots. You can see here, I didn't mark it all that well, so we'll go wider. And now I'm just going to carve it up a little bit more and we're going to get rid of all those dots. All those little imperfections I want gone because this is looking amazing. We'll change the view now and you'll see what I mean. Right, so here we are, marked all those spots. Now if I just dab my finger in water and we go over a couple of these areas, look at the colour coming through. Especially on this side here, we've got some nice chunky looking blocks of colour. Look at that. And remember, this phone, this camera, is still terrible when it comes to the crispness and sharpness of the reds in particular. So this is like a foil red. I mean, Julian here has given me something absolutely incredible. This side here, where that deep gouge was along the entire thing that has not fully come out yet because of these lines, that's a little bit cloudy, so I don't feel too bad just carving up a little bit more, but I'm not going to go that deep. If these things don't come fully out, I don't mind because this is really the front face that's going to be sitting up on any kind of display. So it's it's an amazing piece. And once we get rid of these little spots, it'll be an absolute immaculate gem. So I think in this video, I'll continue on. We'll get the sintered bit back out again, get rid of all these spots. And then there'll probably be a part two where I go into polishing it up because it's going to take a little bit of time. Let's finish this one off or at least finish getting all these little imperfections out and then we'll have a last look at it and leave it at that.
three, two, one. Look at that color. Dear Lord. Now it's not perfect. There's a small little potchy section that you can see just there. Just a tiny little, tiny little area that I didn't want to dig any further into because you can see there it's already dipping a little bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I'll stop there. The sand comes down to about here, so if I really wanted to get rid of that, I could slice along here and end up with this perfect, perfect tube of just beautiful opal, especially on this front side. I mean, look at that, just rolling it around. It looks amazing. And this isn't even done yet. So you could see it was very hazy outside of the water, and that's because it's still just the sintered diamond bit. But once we go through to the Novas, and then this one has to be polished as best as I possibly can with the Zero Moxide as well. So I'll be taking this all the way in part two, which will be very soon. I'll probably start working on it now, but for now we will stop at this stage. But I did say at the start of the video, I had a huge announcement for the channel. The big announcement is, Royce Rocks HQ has cooling. I bought an evaporative air conditioner, so. Bit of an anticlimax, but that's the uh, grand reveal, big announcement for this week. To me, this is incredibly exciting. To you guys, I think this is probably the more exciting part. So we'll go back to this, and I'll just give it a little bit of a roll around. You can see here, this side, the pattern's kind of a little bit more boring and subdued, but it just explodes on the front. So what more can you want? Absolutely stunning. Zero disappointment in this one. This will get hit with the Novas and Cerium. We will give this a mirror finish and it'll look like this outside of the water. In fact, it'll probably look better than this outside of the water. Stay tuned for that, it'll be coming up. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one.